want to be your host of First Lady TV. We show you raw, exclusive things from all over the world, especially men, features, interviews, and the insider on all of the media. We're international, baby, so it's no limit on where we go. And we're taking you here for the This is the chase on our family school. State your name. My name is Brandy King. Go ahead. Ashley Soto. Praise my team. Tiffany Williams, aka T. What's up everyone? This is your girl Brianna B and this is the First Lady TV. Right now I'm at the 2014 Charleston, South Carolina Natural Hair Expo. As you can see people are just now arriving. Swag bags are being given out and this is just the beginning. Over 40 vendors, well named known sponsors such as Shea Moisture. I'm super excited and I have the Shea.com exclusive. The lovely, lovely Miss Coils. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call her that. If that's, if that's okay, that's you know, fine, you see, yo, you might as well. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fabulous. Now, you know, now that I got to meet you and see your brand, I'm very excited. Uh, first and foremost, where are you from? I am originally from Beaufort, South Carolina. Okay. And since then, I mean, I really don't know the whole behind the scenes story, but I do know that your brand is growing. You know, I'm, it's in major stores and you can purchase it online and it's just great product so it's so in the next five years in the next five years i will be in uh high-end department stores and more black-owned businesses uh i'm branching off into whole foods on the west coast pretty soon so stores like that like i want real specialty stores I really want to market towards black home business and just continue to fall in love with you and, and this intimate short conversation but um i definitely want to know uh, we're at the charleston natural hair expo what natural tips do you have whether they're with your products or not with your products that you can share with us um, i have two tips uh, especially for people who are just going natural i want to tell them to be patient and learn to accept and love their hair and to moisturize their hair. Moisturizing is the key to retaining length. It is the key to, you know, making your hair look great. So be patient with yourself and your hair and moisturizing your hair. Thank you so much and make sure you purchase our product. Myself, all these beautiful natural women here. How do you manage yourself? How do I manage myself? Yes, like beautiful 
I gotta be everywhere. It's hard. It's hard. I am married, and it is difficult. But I try to maintain focus. You know. Well, furthermore, on your art, your art is all the way from New York. Yes. What type of art do you do? I do mixed media art, which is um, I do use magazine clips, and I try to incorporate urban um, imagery, jazz, uh, hip hop. That's what I do. Okay. I love it. You're a graphic designer as well. Well, I use my art. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so it's like unique. Yeah, you yeah. Can't one find of a kind, definitely. Okay. Custom made. Custom made. So if someone like myself wanted to buy one of your paintings, how could I contact you? Yes, I'm on Instagram, Lance LJ Art. Um, I have a website, uh, Lance LJ Art again dot com. All right, you heard it here first on the First Lady TV. You gotta get your paintings done by Lance. For every time. Every time. Right. I'd be rich. What, <laughs> what brought you out to the Natural Hair Expo today? Um, well, I, I've been here last year. I came and it was really nice. And then uh, Abby, you know, found her. She invited me back to be on a social media blogger booth. So I accepted. I love to travel, so I decided to make the drive seven hours. Seven hours. Where did you come from? Virginia. Right, well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Who are you excited to see? I am everybody. everybody. I like to see all the hairstyles and all the varieties. It gives you a lot of ideas of what you can do to your own hair. And I just like meeting people, so definitely. Is it a specific vendor that you're going to... Not really. Um, I love anything handmade, so I'm probably be looking for things like that, um, especially like clutches. That is like one of my weaknesses. So well, it's one right over there. I, I got my eye on it. I saw it kind of that one, so yeah, I'll, right. be, I'll be visiting. That's cool. How can we connect with you? I'm on Instagram at Naturally Creole. That is also my um, Twitter handle, except it has a three at the end on Twitter. Um, I have a blog, naturallycreole.net, and I'm also on YouTube, Naturally Creole. <laughs> I'm at the 2014 Charleston Natural Hair Expo, and I'm with the lovely Samara. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for asking. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you so much. What brought you out to the expo today? Well, um, I came to the event last year, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed myself. Two years ago is when I first heard about the event. I heard about the all-white party. I heard that it was a great venue as far as the expo, great vendors. So I wanted to be a part of that. Do you already have your white dress? Or if, is it a dress? It's actually a jumpsuit. I've really been feeling jumpsuits lately, so when I saw it online, I'm like, I gotta keep with the flow of my little summertime jumpsuit theme, so it's, it's a white jumpsuit. Okay. And how long have you been natural? It has been four and a half years, and I love it. It's definitely been a journey, because you have to learn your hair all over again. You have to learn the coarser texture, but if I would have known that my hair could be like this before, I would have never relaxed my hair. So absolutely no creamy crack ever, ever, <laughs> ever again. Probably not. And you know what? I used to say never. And at this point, I say, you know, you never know, you know, what can go through your mind. You might want to change. But at this point, I don't see myself getting a relaxer again. Okay. And now you're a blogger. You're one of the invited bloggers for today. Yes. Uh, where, where's your channel and how can people contact you? Well, actually, I'm not on YouTube just yet, but I do have a blog. It's www.styledchic.net, and there, that's where I talk about fashion and all my passions, like natural hair and beauty as well. Okay, well, make sure you check that out. Thank you. Team Charleston Natural Hair Expo, and I'm with this lovely lady. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm well, thank you. First of all, your hair is popping. Your curls are popping. Thank you. How did you manage to get it like that? Just a simple twist out. Decided to do the African Pride twist out buttercream. Just do in small sections and just unravel and fluff. Okay. What is your favorite product to use on your hair? Oh wow, my favorite product would be. Right now, I really do love the Design Essentials Curl Pudding. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I really like that for my twist outs. They come out really, really well. But I have so many different 
products that I absolutely love. Yeah, being a natural, you always you have like a, a suitcase of products, <laughs> and you only use like half of them. Right. How do you manage to like keep up with everything? Um, pretty much, I try to go ahead and use what's in my little repertoire and so they won't go to waste and then I just start building from there but I go ahead and you know put in my go-to products and keep up with them. Hello I am here with the beautiful Ashley right now. First of all before we start anything check out this beautiful dress like it's one of my favorite colors orange beautiful Are you natural? Some of it, but I'm actually transitioning. For my friend Amber, who is, uh, has breast cancer, and she's natural, so I'm going to cut my hair off with her, and we're going to do the natural journeys together. Well, well, do you have an expected date where you're going to do the natural Friday? Oh, so it's coming up soon. Yeah. So it, it makes sense that you're here at the yeah. Natural Hair Expo. So the Malay, she's actually going to be inside the fashion show that they're having. Oh, really? So she's a part of the Kitty Couture, right? Yeah. That's awesome. You want to tell them your name? Malay. Malay, you want to look at them and tell them? Malay. Malay. There you go. You have it right here. Now, other, this is all new to both of us. And so far, it's exciting. Yes. And we have a lot of vendors. Have you purchased anything yet? I did. I got some earrings. A little earrings. I got some cocoa um, over there, the cocoa pearls. I got now, in addition to being natural, you have a business that's in the industry of makeup, right? Right. And uh, entertainment. We do a lot of hosting. Uh, right now, we have the Fight Man Organization for Breast Cancer. Y'all make sure y'all go support her. So we got, we got uh, a clothing line as well. The clothing line is called it's called Pink Lips Clothing, but one of our popular lines we have is Pretty Bullshit. And that means attractive and charming, nonsense, typically portrayed to be beautifully misleading. Well, it has a wonderful meaning behind it. So yes. I look forward to seeing that. Hopefully, I can be in some of it soon. And um, if someone wanted to connect with you and buy your products, where can they find you? They can find us at www.pinklipsinc.com. Our Instagram is the same thing. And um, Facebook, Pink Lips Inc. as well. All right. Well, you heard it here first on the First Lady TV. Make sure you cop that. It's coming out soon. The White Party will cover it later on today so you can see this beautiful lady.